This video is sponsored by Kite. Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and in this video, let's go over seven VS Code keyboard shortcuts that can help you code faster and be more productive. For this video, I'm using the code base from the React table series. The first keyboard shortcut is Control P plus P or Command P plus P. This helps you toggle between your current file and your most recently opened file. A practical use case is when I have to switch between parent and child components in React. So if I'm working in the parent component, which is app.js, and I have basic table.js, which is the child component, I can hit control P and then P again to switch to basic table, control P and P again to switch to app.js. So more generic use case is any two files where one file contains the export statement and the other file contains the import statement. Control P plus P or Command P plus P allows you to easily switch between the two files that you're working on. The second shortcut is Control K plus Enter or Command K plus Enter to permanently keep open a preview mode tab. So let's say app.js is the only open file. If I now open a new file, basic table.js, you can see that the file is in the preview mode. If I were to try open a third file, let's say columns.js, it replaces basic table in the list of tabs. However, if I open basic table and hit the shortcut, control K plus enter, the file gets permanently docked and any new file opened will be in the third tab. Now let's move on to shortcuts that will help you with the code you write. For the third shortcut, we have Alt, up or down arrow key, or Option, up or down arrow key. This will move the line of code one line above or below. The most common use case of this shortcut for me is rearranging my import statements. For example, in basic table.js, I prefer having all the library imports at the top, followed by JavaScript file imports, followed by the CSS imports. So I can hit Alt and up arrow on React table line to move the line upwards. Similarly, I can place my cursor on line four which is the CSS file import, alt and down arrow, it moves the import one line below. The fourth shortcut is alt shift up arrow or down arrow, or option shift up arrow or down arrow. The shortcut will copy and paste your current line of code above or below. If you have a selection, it will copy paste the entire selection. A use case that I often come across is having to copy an existing line only to make minor changes. For example, in columns.js file, if I have header date of birth and I need footer also to be date of birth, I place my cursor on the header line and use the shortcut Alt Shift Down and then change the text header to footer. The fifth one is a controversial one. And the shortcut is Control Shift K or Command Shift K. This will delete the current line. Typically, I use Control X or Command X, which will cut the line from the file and serves the purpose of deleting the line. But that also replaces your clipboard. So if you have copied something into your clipboard, you're going to lose that. Using Control Shift K, however, will delete the line and maintain your clipboard intact so you can paste the copied content. Next, let's talk about editing code. The sixth shortcut is Control F2 or Command F2. This lets you select all occurrences of the current word in your entire file. For example, in columns.js file, if I want to change all occurrences of header to heading, 
I place my cursor on the word, hit Ctrl F2, which selects all occurrences, and now I can edit once. Pretty handy if you have to change text at a file level. But sometimes you don't want to change all occurrences of the text. You might want to change that text only in a particular function. Which brings us to our final shortcut. The seventh shortcut is Ctrl D or Command D. This lets you add the next fine match to your selection. So in our columns file, I can place the cursor on header ID and then hit Ctrl D. As you can see, it selects the current word. If I hit Ctrl D again, it will select only the next match. I can now edit the text to column ID. The more number of times you hit Ctrl D or Command D, the more occurrences VS Code will try add to your selection. So if I place the cursor on footer and hit Ctrl D, the current word is selected. Hit Ctrl D again, add the next selection. Hit Ctrl D again, add the next selection and so on. So that is my list of seven VS Code keyboard shortcuts for everyday use. Now, if you want to further improve your coding speed, I highly recommend you take a look at Kite. Kite is a completely free plugin that integrates into your text editor to provide AI-powered code completions. Because of machine learning, Kite's completions are sorted by relevance rather than being sorted alphabetically. Let me take 60 seconds to show you how well Kite fits in to HTML, CSS, and React. In an HTML file, let's say I wanted to add a simple bootstrap layout. So add a div tag and type the letter C. Kite suggests class. Add in quotes and Kite suggests container. Within the container, let's add a div tag. C and Kite completes class again. But this time, quotes and Kite recommends row. If you have another nested div, kite suggests call as a class. This is a typical bootstrap layout to add elements. Let me quickly move on to CSS. Let's say we need to use Flexbox to vertically and horizontally align an element. So in the CSS file, I'm going to create a class called center. Now display, we set it to flex. And you can see that Kite automatically completes that for us. In the next line, I only have to type A and Kite auto-completes align items center. In the next line, I just type J and Kite auto-completes justify content center. And just like that, I have the desired CSS to center align an element. Let's also quickly take a look at React. I have created a new file called to-do reducer. Now this you might probably want with use reducer or redux. I'm going to begin by declaring the reducer. So const to-do reducer is going to be equal to an arrow function. Now within the parentheses, when I type s, kite suggests that I might want to use state. And when I put a comma, and type A, kite suggests I might want an action, which is exactly what I need for a reducer. Now, within a reducer function, we would use switch cases. If I type S, kite not only makes a suggestion with the switch expression, but also fills in the action for us. So the switch expression is action.type. So by typing a single letter, I can code complete the entire line and it was 100% spot on. If I try to add a case, kite suggests add. So we want to add a to-do. We return a new object where id is going to be set to action.id 
again kite's suggestion and a to-do item would have a completed property so if i type c kite recommends that we don't need completed to be action dot completed so we're going to set it to completed false similar case is with toggle so case and i type t kite suggests toggle where we are going to return the current state and then we overwrite completed which is going to be equal to not if i type s you can see that it says state dot completed finally i type d and we get a default case where we return the state now kite supports html css javascript python c sharp go and a lot more languages I'll leave a link in the description down below to download Kite for free. So that is my list of seven VS Code keyboard shortcuts as well as Kite for everyday use. There are a lot more shortcuts, but I compiled seven which I use regularly in everyday work. Let me know in the comment section which is the keyboard shortcut that you use the most every day. It might be something that we all benefit from. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.